Good morning. <laughs> How long did I stay in San Francisco? Uh, well, I was only going to stay here one day. Ended up staying here uh, one day. Five, five days. So uh, if you remember last time uh, I ended that uh, video, I was really dragging because I thought I ate something bad. Well, turns out that um, I guess I had a little bit of the flu. So uh, before I started, you know, I stayed with a friend and then I uh, subsequently heard that everybody there had the flu after I left. So uh, I guess that's a bit what it was. So now, had a few days to rest, still dragging a little bit, a little dizzy when I get up. So we'll see what happens, huh? Um, but anyway, stayed in a nice hostel, green tortoise. So if you ever come to uh, San Francisco and need a cheap place to stay, it's clean. Staff is nice, appears to be run efficiently. Um, stayed there, catching the ferry across to Oakland. And uh, so my original plan was to get to um, Sacramento in seven days. Ain't gonna happen. <laughs> I'm going to be lucky if I do uh, eight miles a day here for the next uh, number of days. So maybe it's going to take me 12 days to get to Sacramento. But you're coming along with me. So let's go. All right, welcome to Oakland, California and Jack London Square. Turned out to be a nice day here again. We got rain coming up the latter part of the week. Not one day, not two days, not three days. But I think four days. <laughs> so let's see what happens today. I've got eight miles to go. It's uh, noon. I think I'll make it by six. <laughs> uh, we'll see how much I'm dragging. Got to go up 1,500 feet. Not too bad in the... Uh, Elevation, but oh well, blah 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 blah. Let's see what happens today, huh? In Oakland, California. Well, I got some good news. I'm not doing as slow as I expected, but I'm not doing as fast as I should. I'm up here in the hills of Oakland. Still got to climb a bit of a climb up to the top, as you can uh, probably see up there. I think I'm going around the front of that house. So it'd be something like uh, that way, then that way, and then that way. So I figure this eight hours, or I should say this eight miles today, can take me probably about six hours. <laughs> and then after that, uh, next day I'll be down and then a little bit up. And then the next day will be down a little bit of up. And then the next day supposedly is going to be 18 miles. <laughs> Flattish. And the next day after that is supposed to be 16 miles. <laughs> So we'll see uh, how this flu recovery uh, dictates. In the meantime, up and up we go. And if I keep going this rate, uh, don't think I'm getting to North Carolina by New Year's Eve. Maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe my next uh, next spring. <laughs> oh boy. Well, up and up the hill we go. Take a look back there. Nice picture of uh, San Francisco Bay. And uh, you know that white house I showed you that we had to get up to? We're not there yet. <laughs> and it's for sale. I didn't take the time to look it up, but I'm guessing it's at least three million, if not more. All right. All right, made it up to this place called the Sibley Volcanic Park, 
and uh, it's about six hours, so that's kind of what I expected. Um, there's a campsite back there, so I went to check it out. Somebody's there. It was reserved, and they did show up. <laughs> so now we're stealth camping tonight. <laughs> um, there's a water tank over here. Big water tank, and then there's looks like there's a shelf, a flat spot that uh, sits above it. So I'm going to check that out, see if we can uh, set up there without getting caught. Hopefully there's no cameras up there. Um, technically the camp, the park closes at 10 p.m. So let's see what happens. You don't see me in the morning, you know what happened. <laughs> Good morning. <clears throat> Stealth camped without getting arrested. <laughs> Um, just up on the other uh, <clears throat> side of that hill there, but uh, look at the nice view here Had a little bit of uh, fog last night, you know, I guess you can say clouds well, I was topped up in the clouds there about 1500 feet. So now I'm Gonna make my way down this hillside That's wet and slick without slipping and then uh, <clears throat> Gonna go uh, <clears throat> through a place called um, uh, Lafayette Reservoir and then down to a place called Concord and it's uh, another short day, nine miles but I'm actually feeling a little bit uh, <clears throat> I gotta pay attention here a little bit stronger so we'll see what happens but there's not really any spots to stealth camp after that so we'll see what happens <clears throat> okay and before I uh, fall on my face <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> so uh, here's kind of a, a good look <laughs> of what I have um, in store for me the next few days, winding my way through humanity here. So we're coming up to a place called Orinda, California, right down in here. So I'm actually been going through this uh, neighborhood here. <laughs> Wonder what they think with a guy walking down a backpack in the neighborhood. Um, then after that, it'll be Concord. Oh, I'll see Lafayette. I think we're heading out over this way to the Lafayette Reservoir. Over that way into Concord. And then from Concord, uh, there'll be um, Walnut Creek. And then after Walnut Creek, got some open space again until we get to Antioch. And in Antioch, I uh, got a fairly uh, long bridge to cross over the, um, the delta. And then uh, going up through those delta communities, or little towns, until I get to Sacramento. And uh, <laughs> it's stealth camping all the way, baby. <laughs> Well, I made it to a place called uh, Lafayette uh, Reservoir. Let's see right down there. So the uh, trail just goes along this little ridge right here and then uh, turns left, drops down, goes down to the lake and then out that way. So those of you who are looking, familiar with American Discovery Trail, you're saying, hey, that's not the ADT. No, it's not. So, uh, you know, with the flu I had, they straightened it out. Well, I straightened it out before, but then with the flu, it's a good reason. A good uh, it was a good decision. So anyway, the American Discovery Trail actually uh, is over on the other side of that second ridge over there, and then it uh, comes out, goes along the base of Mount Diablo over there, and then uh, up the flank there and then around the other side and then drops down towards the uh, city of Antioch and then across to the Delta. So what I'm doing instead is I'm just taking, uh, going out the other side of the uh, reservoir here, out to some open space near Concord, and then out uh, to some open space near Walnut Creek, and then I'll catch the, uh, I'll hook back up with the American Discovery Trail. Um, out there on the other side of uh, Mount Diablo, and then uh, hoof it on into Sacramento on the on the trail. Then 
Then I'll take the uh, I'll take the ADT up into uh, Sacramento, and then uh, with the recent blizzard they had, it dumped a whole bunch of snow along the ADT route. Um, as you go up uh, Sacramento to Auburn, and then the ADT uh, basically goes up from Auburn to Forest Hill, and then up and over the mountain near there near uh, Squaw Valley or Palisades Tahoe, whatever they call it today. Uh, but that section there has got a whole bunch of snow. Um, last I checked, it was still it was still over eight feet, almost nine feet, and uh, a couple slopes in there that probably are conducive to some um, slipping and sliding, if you know what I mean. So I don't want to trigger any avalanches. So out of uh, Auburn, I'm going to basically follow some roads and um, dirt roads and trails uh, that more or less should be plowed and uh, parallel Interstate 80 on into Truckee and then from Truckee I'll just um, uh, go down into Incline Village, Incline Village down Carson City, Nevada. So that's the plan. We'll just see what the uh, weather does in the next few days. Looks like looks nice now. Another cloud in the sky, very slow breeze in the 70s, probably 70, 72. But uh, Friday, the rains are coming. So uh, let's uh, get a move on here, grab the sticks before I forget them. And here's a nice house they're building. Got a good view out that way. Can you hear me? It's rush hour. It's rush hour, as you can see on the freeway there. I think that's... Um, I don't know what it is. Might be Interstate 80. No, Interstate 580. Anyway, uh, I made a modification to my modification. <laughs> so I'm a little zippier today. So I'm going to go about three, uh, three miles further and uh, camp on some sort of hillside near a water treatment plant. That should smell good. The next day, I might go beyond what my scheduled plan was there and then the next day I might go beyond my scheduled plan there so then the following day instead of making it an 18 mile day perhaps I can get it down to 15 and a half that's a little bit more manageable for now so I think I'm in the city of Walnut Creek now this is a pleasant hill drive the uh, American Discovery Trail. This actually goes up on that hillside behind there. I'm going to catch it. I'm going to zip back onto it. Another couple miles up here and then uh, I'll be stealth camping out on the trail tonight. Alright, about 11 miles for the day. Which is okay. But look at this nice campsite here. Right here on the brow of this hill. Setting sun, looking out over the uh, Diablo Valley, that would be the city of Concord, right down there, and then uh, Diablo Mountain right over there, and then the goal tomorrow is <laughs> just kind of winding my way through civilization, I think out over that way. And then uh, we'll be turning left, eventually heading up to the, um, the Delta over there on the next day. And then uh, journey up to Sacramento. So that's it for tonight. I don't think I'll get, uh, I'm on a little spur trail, so I don't think I'll get anybody in the morning. So uh, just a little bit of wind. So see you in the morning. Good morning. That was actually a nice, uh, cozy spot last night. Quite a bit windy. As you can see, it's cool. Um, oh, the other thing, too, is what do you know? I'm not uh, getting a late start. It's 7 55. Anyway, let's get down and get off this hillside. I don't even think I'm going down the trail, so I'm going to bushwhack. And then out. 
heading that way somewhere. Well, take a look at what I found here. Right there. American Discovery Trail. <laughs> it's the first, uh, first one I've seen. Wonder how many more there will be this, tri this trip. You know, I've been uh, impressed so far with this um, East Bay area of California. There's so many trails uh, through here, and uh, you see lots of people walking them. But uh, the interesting thing is that there's so many trails. You know, being from Southern California, uh, when you're in suburbia, <laughs> you're basically in suburbia. Uh, very few trails uh, per capita, if you want to say that. A lot of these trails have been on uh, East Bay Municipal Utility District uh, land, or uh, there's a regional park system that goes through here. And this particular one right here, uh, we're uh, paralleling the um, Contra, Costa, Contra Costa Canal, which I don't know if it's a runoff canal or uh, what. Anyway, they're quite pretty. You can be uh, seated in millions of people all around. But you've got all these trails here winding through. Pretty neat deal. Okay, there's the uh, there's a side of Diablo Valley. I stayed at last night, and now we're on the opposite side of the valley. And uh, that was a pretty good climb right there. <laughs> um, so we're headed this way, and I'm ahead of my modified modified route. So, don't know exactly where I'm camping tonight. Got to make a decision pretty soon because pretty soon it gets into uh, a whole bunch of housing tracks. Um, and uh, like I said before, I'm trying to I'm trying to forego an 18 mile day on Friday. So let's see what happens, huh? In the meantime. Through the gate and close the gate. As many different gates there have been, it doesn't have a lock on it. As many different gates there have been, <laughs> there's been uh, different, uh, as many different locking mechanisms. Didn't expect to see that out here. Turkey, hey buddy, how you doing? He's a pretty good size. There's another one right over there that I passed. Guy with uh, a couple hens. Wonder if they're getting ready to do battle. Didn't expect to see that out here. All right, it's getting towards the end of the day. I think I've picked out a spot. It's going to be like uh, halfway up that hill somewhere, a little bit farther down, next to, or, or near, nearby to what looks like a um, cattle pond. But I won't be uh, keeping cattle from getting to the pond because they aren't out here grazing yet. So I don't uh, feel there's a problem there. And if that spot doesn't work out, we'll just have to keep trekking along. Okay, well, plan B, right down there, didn't work out. Because there are, there are cows there. <laughs> plan C, let's get going this uh, grassy knob over here. But, maybe not. <laughs> so now I guess plan D is just make it up to the ridge there. See what we see. Or if worse comes to worse, if there's no fence line, climb up, climb up to that point there. 
Huh. Now let's go. If you watch the other two uh, walks across America, you might remember <laughs> I would usually uh, a lot of times count the strands of uh, uh, barbed wire to see how different regions do it. Look at this. First time I've seen this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven strands. I really want to keep you out or keep the cows in. Huh. Now look at that. I've been watching that hawk for about the past uh, four or five minutes. Just hovering right there, catching the currents off the hill. How about that? Huh. This be kind of a, a fun thing to do, right? Just hovering. Waiting for something to come along. Well, now that I'm on plan E or F or G, whatever it is, uh, I got a sight right now that I didn't expect to see till tomorrow. Take a look at this. Well, those uh, wind turbines in the uh, Sacramento Delta. That's our goal the uh, next, oh, what? Five days, six days? Up that way to Sacramento. Certainly is an interesting sight. I didn't know what to expect. But I knew, know, that uh, I better expect to get a place here. The sun's starting to go down. <laughs> Passed another one of those signs that said, Keep out. No bicycles. No hikers. No trespassing. <laughs> so I guess I mean it. But there's a lot of nice spots up here. Well what looks like nice spots up on the ridge there. But I can't get up there, man. Just camp on the road. <laughs> okay, one last ooh and ah, I promise. But uh, a milestone of sorts. Looking back, uh, way off in the distance there, San Francisco Bay. Got the low clouds hanging over it. And then once again, that's Sacramento Delta. And then the next milestone will be up there in Sacramento and then up and over the Sierras. All right, found a spot. It'll be a bit windy, but the uh, I've got the cover of the oak canopy, so uh, maybe that'll keep the dew off me. Um, but, oh man, I gotta show it to you. So, from here, you can barely see it out there. See that? That's the Sierras. And up the uh, river to Sacramento. And then over this way, like I showed you before, got a glimpse of the uh, ocean out there. So it's kind of a triple whammy of a spot. And uh, it's just enough for one person. It could probably fit two. But I'm going to take it, even though it's windy. So, <laughs> see you in the morning. Good morning. <laughs> it's almost 8 o'clock. I guess I should get up, huh? <laughs> but uh, waking up to this is just kind of making me want to lollygag around. So I'm trying to decide whether to um, just go uh, about seven miles to a uh, stealth camp. Um, it's at the edge of Regional Park. You're not supposed to camp there, but I might get away with it or go 12 miles to a uh, National Wildlife Refuge, which again is technically closed. If I do that, if I do the 12 miles, then that gives me um, 10 and a half miles the next day. 
Or if I go seven miles, it gives me, can't do my math, 15 miles the next day <laughs> in the rain. So I think I'm going to try and probe the fence of the uh, wildlife refuge and see what happens there. So let's pack up and go, I guess. That's been a nice little hour jaunt so far. Now I'm taking this uh, side, tra side trail for a shortcut. <laughs> but I, uh, I just passed somebody coming up and they said, careful, there's been some growls in the bushes. So let's see what we find. Any friends around here? Come on, friends. <laughs> you don't see me again, you know something happened. <laughs> well, I came through that section, didn't hear any growling. Didn't see any uh, things that would growl at me. <laughs> but I did come across this, look at here. This is called the Eureka Slope, which is part of a series of coal mines, if you can believe that. Coal mines in California. And actually even the largest coal mine uh, that there was, in fact, uh, between the 1850s and 1900, the uh, Mount Diablo coal field was the largest um, coal mine uh, in this area. Well, <laughs> It's the uh, coal mine that supplied all the uh, power to uh, the Bay Area, San Francisco and all the growing communities. Eventually it shut down because um, it became more economical with the oil boom coming up. But at the time though, uh, digging coal out here was a lot cheaper than uh, even thinking of trying to ship it from back east or shipping it from the coal fields in Australia or Chile. And so now I've figured out why this whole area is called the Black Diamond Mines Regional Park. Learn something new every day. What do you know? Now down into Antioch. Howdy, don't mind me. Just keep, keep eating breakfast. Howdy. Looks like mom and baby that's uh, almost grown there, huh? All right. Whoopie tie, I -o. Get along, you little doggies. It's your misfortune and none of my own. <laughs> Whoopie tie, I -o. Get along, you little doggies. You know that Wyoming will be your new home. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> oh, here comes another friend. I don't know if you remember on the first uh, walk. <laughs> yeah, same to you. You like that singing? On the first walk, uh, I was singing to some cows. They ran away. These guys, hi there. Hey, how you doing? Huh? See you later. Happy cows, happy grass. Happy grass, happy cows. <laughs> you know, I just had a nice little stop here at this uh, <clears throat> Contra Loma. I think it's called Contra Loma Regional Park. Talk to the uh, boat inspection guy there for a while and he let me uh, charge up my phone so Jeff hello there um, interesting guy he's uh, been in the Navy been in the uh, National Guard government job doing this to keep his retirement years active <coughs> doing all sorts of stuff so now, going to, uh, oh, he also told me about uh, a couple places that might be good to eat that are cheap. 
if they don't uh, mind having a super stinky hiker come in. <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to head on six miles. I'm going to try and get to that wildlife refuge and stealth camp there tonight. So we'll see what happens. All right, I'm in Antioch. Uh, this might be a little bit easier than I thought. So I uh, went by a community outreach center there. Asked them uh, how strict are the uh, how strict are the police that they find somebody camping in a random spot, right? So uh, then I talked to a guy, I guess, who's homeless around here. He told me about his spot, how to get to it. It's over on the wildlife refuge, which I'm trying to get to anyway. And uh, the secret spot where the secret spots where the fences are uh, happen to be open. <laughs> so. Uh, didn't get your name, so thank you very much. Let's see what it turns out to be. Oh, and they gave me from some free strawberries too. That's pretty nice. Well, <clears throat> good morning. I think this is my best stealth spot so far. 